Well, here we go. Another inconvenience for T riders. The T announcing it will shut down part of the red line for two weeks in October to address some of the worst speed restrictions. So, this is going to impact the Ashmont branch from JFK UMass to Ashmont. It'll also impact the Mattapan line between Mattapan and Ashmont. WBZ's Beth Romano is live for us in Dorchester tonight. And the MBTA's GM, Beth, says this is drastic but necessary. Well, this is the map that shows a much smaller section of track will be shut down, unlike the entire Orange Line last October. Still, tens of thousands of riders will be impacted as the T tries to get these trains up to speed. It's going to be brutal. I use it every day to go to work. Very, I rely on it 100%. It's happening again, a complete MBTA shutdown on portions of the Red Line's Ashmont branch south of JFK UMass. And the entire Mattapan trolley line, some of the oldest track in the system that needs repairs, says the T general manager for safety and reliability. We just felt like we really needed to get in and get done and take care of it sooner. The 16-day surge will allow us to do that in a much more cost-effective and shorter duration. 16 days from October 14th to the 29th, which the T says could have been 16 months if it was done only nights and weekends. Victor Morris worries about having to use shuttle buses instead. It's not going to be that reliable because, you know, there's traffic and all that, so, so it's not going to be so reliable because I need to get to to work on a certain time. The T says they're giving riders plenty of notice since 11 stops will be impacted and in the end promises at least 28 speed restrictions will be eliminated. And you can guarantee through the riding public that their travel time will improve and the restrictions will be gone. Their travel time along that stretch will improve. What we need to do is continue to work on the rest of the red line. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu says riders need to see a light at the end of the tunnel. I think what we do need to see is uh, a sense that there will be clear, predictable, actionable outcomes and to know when that will happen. Eventually, these old Mattapan trolley cars could be replaced as well, but in the meantime, concerns about access through an entire neighborhood for two weeks. A lot of people depend to get downtown from Mattapan, um, Hyde Park and the surrounding areas. Now, the general manager insists if riders can endure this for 16 days, they can get the work done that they need to in this section. But lessons were learned from the Orange Line shutdown, and in the coming weeks, there will be four information sessions for riders to give their feedback. Reporting live from Ashmont Station in Dorchester, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.